Welcome. So today I'm going to be reviewing all of these AI writers. I'm going to rank them on this table from best to worst. And yeah, these are all the ones that I'm going to be reviewing. Now I'm going to try and be as impartial as I can and use the same prompt. So feed the AI with the same prompt on every one of these. So we have actually a benchmark or someone, something to compare all the output of these AIs. And full disclosure, out of all those, I own this one. I own um, Journalist AI. So again, I'm going to try and be as impartial as possible. But I'm going to go over each one of them and I'm going to go over how they all work. And let's start with this one. And so this is how the content looks like, by the way, in article images, uh, links, quotes. Uh, there's even videos, all this internal links, and there's a bunch of stuff. But yeah, let me go over the generation part of it because I think that's the most important part. So again, I'll do this for every single one of these. Let's get started. So um, journalist AI, well, this is all the info you need to feed the AI with to have the actual articles generated. So let's start with the top right here. So generation mode, we want to generate articles based on keywords, uh, titles, or a description. Uh, let's do some titles, right? Let's do how to groom a golden retriever. And again, I'm going to try and use the same um, prompt, right? The same title. If this allows me to do that, I'm sure I'll write this. Uh, if all the other um, AI tools allow me to use the same title based generation, I will, right? So that's the first step done. Uh, content, I want this to be written in English. Of course, I can choose from over 150 different languages, but I'll just choose English. Uh, target country, this in this case impacts um, how the links that are included in the article because the articles you generate here have internal links, have external links, uh, they're connected to the web as well. And if of course, I were to choose English, but my business were in Australia or the UK. I would need to mention this here because, again, the links, the images, all the things that are in the article will change accordingly. So let's do, just do US. Uh, then creativity levels, I can do more creative original or just more creative factual. This will depend on the type of business and the type of content that we're going to be producing. Um, because it's a dog grooming business, I would say we can be a bit more uh, creative original. So let's just do uh, that here. Uh, tone of voice, I guess we could keep it uh, informal, right? I mean, that will, this will uh, will depend. Point of view, I like to write my articles in the first uh, person singular. I think they're more, a bit more personal. I think it's, uh, it's a nicer touch. Uh, I'm not going to add custom instructions because I think um, it's not necessary for now. Moving on to knowledge, I'll just enable this to uh, connect this to the web, um, which makes it so that the content produced is up to date and all that, which is fantastic. Um, I can create a brand and connect a brand. I, I don't think I will do it now, but essentially what a brand is, is essentially, again, by going here and connecting my brand, uh, real quick here, my brand is made out of multiple assets, right? My, my website is an asset, uh, my LinkedIn page, uh, some even some text documents, some audio documents, right? All these uh, other social media platforms, all these are assets, right? And when you connect uh, journalist AI with your brand, what you're doing essentially is is you're feeding the AI with your brand's assets. So journalist AI, this this AI, knows as much as you do, you being the owner and founder of, of your brand, uh, it knows as much as you do about the brand. So it's able to produce brand-tailored content with your brand's tone of voice, your brand's mannerisms, your own brand's images as well. And so essentially by connecting a brand here, by going here and creating a brand or, or selecting one you've, you've created in the past, you're able to produce non-generic AI content. I won't do it now, but you can do this and I would advise you to, to, that you do it. So yeah, just taking that into account, which is a very powerful feature that you can do here. Uh, then moving on to formatting, uh, just, just enable that. Structuring, um, this is where you can essentially add a bunch of stuff, a bunch of sections, key takeaway section. I'd like to enable all these ones because I think we're gonna have the max uh, amount of, of stuff here. Uh, article size, let's do large. And call to action essentially is you can, if you want, at the bottom, bottom of each article, enable a, a paragraph that has a uh, a call to action directly to your product uh, or service. For example, an example here, let's say this is a, 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 a blog post about gardening, right? And you have a Shopify store that sells gardening supplies, right? This talks about gardening, how to start a garden, all that. And down here, there's a call to action to your Shopify store so people can actually buy the garden supplies and start a garden. Now, none of this is random, right? If you have here a link to your Shopify store or to a product, the whole paragraph, the H true, so the, the title of the paragraph, the paragraph itself, um, and the, the, the content in the paragraph and the actual anchor text, which is the little text you click to go to the link, all this will make sense, right? All this will be contextual as a paragraph as a whole, right? Uh, taking into account the whole context of the article as well as the link it links out to, right? So let's just do, for example, uh, let me add a link here. Let's say I had a dog groomer business, dog grooming business uh, in LA. So let's just do this and 
let me add my call to action to be for example my contacts page right here i'll just copy this and i'll add it here right so again at the bottom of each article there's gonna be there's going to be a direct call to action to uh this this page which is usually where we want to send people to um now these two is where we set up internal linking. So again, real quick here, the diagram. In your article, you're gonna have your featured images, your table of contents, your content structuring actually, your in-article images, in-article videos, bullets, tables, quotes, and also they're gonna be internal links, right? Links that link out to your site's homepage, to your site's, maybe your site's contacts page, maybe another blog post you've written in the past, and also external links, so links that link out to uh, external uh, authoritative sources, for example. If this article is about finance, we're gonna link out to maybe Bloomberg, and maybe TechCrunch, all these notorious publication sites uh, in your niche. So for internal linking, what you do is essentially just add here a sitemap. Let's see if these guys do have a sitemap. I'm sure they do, um, like so. There we go, we have a sitemap, we want, we want the post sitemap. I actually don't have many posts, let's just do the page sitemap and okay, there we go. And if we add this here, right, we can preview the links. Essentially, all the articles we generate using this all this info uh, are gonna have links inside of them to these um, certain pages, right? Doggy daycare, uh, IRC serve. So again, none of this is random, right? If an article has a link there, the paragraph, the anchor text, all this is gonna be relevant and make sense in the context of the article as a whole, right? As well as the link it links out to. So if it links out to uh, Aries Service Center Santa Monica, this paragraph most likely will talk about service areas and maybe Santa Monica. So none of this is random. And so that's that. I can add multiple sitemaps if I want. And actually, I just might do that uh, for categories. Maybe you could do this. No, maybe what about blocks? Uh, I guess let's just do posts. There's three posts only, but we can do that as well. Right, so that's that. I can filter them if I like. I don't want to do that right now. Uh, then in external linking, right? This is pretty simple. Just enable this, right? Then we'll script the internet for relevant articles in your niche and language. Essentially, we write the article, then go on online uh, on sites and find where's the best links we can add to this article to make it even better. I can exclude some sources if I want to maybe exclude, exclude my competitors because I might not want my articles to link out to my competitors. Um, I can do a bunch of exclusions here and advanced settings, which I won't dive too deep into this because I think it's not necessary for the sake of this video. I don't keep short as possible. Um, yeah, so that's that. That's enabled right here. Finally, images, uh, we want, uh, we can do stock photos, Google images, or even your own custom images, but let's just do AI images, because I think these look better. And let's just make them be uh, hyper-realistic, like so. Oh, okay, and uh, we want a featured image, and we want in-article images. And finally, videos down here, uh, we want to automate this, and let's just hit uh, generate, right? I can choose how many articles I want. I can do 300, but let's just do one right now. And let's wait for this to generate. I'll show you exactly how uh, the output is, and then we will move on to the next uh, AI writer. Right, there we go. So here's how the article looks like. These are all AI generated, of course. This one, the featured image. We have the table of contents, uh, title, how to groom a golden retriever. Uh, there's the key takeaways uh, section right here, an intro. Uh, let me just close this interactive table of contents right here. And we can skim through the article. Uh, one image right here, bold the words, choosing the right tools preparing the grooming area, getting your golden retriever ready. Um, this involves ensuring that your dog is calm and comfortable. This is a link, uh, and in, actually an external link, right? Linking out to this um, golden retrieving grooming uh, 101, uh, 10 vet approved strips and tricks, right? So again, a relevant external link. Moving on, there's more links right here. This is an external link here. Um, more links, in this case, bullets. Uh, in article video, this is relevant to what the what to, uh, what the content is about. So grooming your golden retriever. And again, this article is about grooming. So this video is relevant to um, the article itself. Uh, more images here. There's a couple more links here and uh, quotes here. Bullets. There's sometimes there's tables. Uh, this more links here. And then if we scroll down here, this is a longer article as you saw before. I want to show you the conclusion FAQ section right which you can enable and disable. There's also a meta description, which, which you can use to, for your sites. And on here, um, our call to action, right? Appointment, and it links out to uh, our contacts page, right? As we wanted to do. And uh, quick side note, I can just click here to post to my integration. By the way, my integrations can be anything I like. Um, we integrate with WordPress, Shopify, Ghost Weeks, Webflow Blogger, Zapier, or even an external API. So that's uh, pretty cool. And if you want to take this a step further, because it's kind of a hassle to be like generating 300 articles. Like, so for example, I, here I generated three and I can just, just skim through these ones, right? And post them one by one to my sites, or I can just click here, publish all to my integration. But if I want to automate this, I can just quickly set up an auto blog, right? And with this, I can have uh, content 
generated how many how many articles I want and published every single month, weekday, or every twelve or six hours. So essentially, what we're doing here is you're connecting journalist AI with your blog, right? This is your blog. It can be a WordPress site, Shopify, Weeks, well, whatever. And every single day, in this case, is publishing sixty uh, blog posts, right? Sixty every single day. Now, most people just go with five every oh, every week. And again, every single one of these, if we expand on one of these right here, right, all these will have, as we saw before, a featured image, a table of contents, proper content structuring, in-article images that are relevant to what the content is about, in-article videos, bullets, tables, quotes, internal links, external links. So again, these articles will interlink uh, between each other in a way that makes sense, of course, nothing is random. Uh, call to action, key to query section, FAQs, conclusion, all this, and uh, then automatically for you. So again, five articles every week, and you can set this up so, we, so it's running in the back end on autopilot. So. That's the first one. Let's move on to the second one. And uh, yeah, uh, the one next one is Niran Ryder. So let's go here and create a new project. And um, let's just do, let's actually, let's just use the same site we were using before. Let's say this is our site right here, next. And um, this is our homepage URL. Uh, let's just do uh, United States, that's what we're at. And let's do English, there we go, Cre create. And there we have it, we have a project. Um, now I want to write, I want to have it create a blog post. So I'm guessing it should be somewhere around here. So just click, I guess, new query and uh, let's do dog grooming LA and click uh, start. And I'm guessing after this, that will allow me to uh, generate an article. Right off the bat, it's taking too long, right? With, with journalists. And again, I know I'm a bit biased, but with this, I could just go here to generate articles, just fill all this in. Select many articles I want to generate and click generate. I can even load presets because I have a bunch of presets here, plastic church surgeon. And this is all right already filled in with uh, my, my, my preset essentially I can just write articles based on presets right for different businesses and this is taking a while okay 45 percent I'm not sure what this means okay so it's loading um, so yeah I guess we will we can move on to the next one I guess let me just rate uh, during say again I'm of course hundred percent biased but so far based on what I've seen I mean I only tested one we'll have to put this as an S right again this can go up and down but uh, we'll see based on other, the other competitors, right? Okay, so this is done. Now I'm assuming I can go here and somehow generate an article, uh, I guess. Let me see here if I just click next. Okay, there we go. And now we should be able to just somehow get this going, uh, AI writing, and one click long form article title, let's just do, exactly what we did before uh, with this other tool. So let's just do this, paste it in here, and then just see it right for me. Okay, so hopefully this um, writes it as well as we did with uh, uh, Journalist AI. So let's just wait for this to generate and we'll be right back once it has. Okay, so there we go. That's the article done. I don't see any videos, I don't see any images, I don't see any links, internal, external, I don't see any bullets, tables. I just see generic uh, text-based content. Now, granted, I can just go here and place links, I'm guessing, yeah. But also with this, I can just go here to view my article, just open this up, and I can just do essentially the same after I've generated the article. You can just go here and essentially add links here, right? I can just uh, make this an H2 if I want. So, I mean, it is a bit underwhelming here because uh, there's they don't give me much. Uh, they give me a score. I'm not sure how well I can trust this score. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I guess in comparison with journalists, I know I'm biased, but the amount of info it gives you, and there's no automation as well. Can I connect this straight to my site, to my WordPress, to my Shopify store? Can I click a button to publish to my store or to my site? I don't I don't see it here. Maybe I can. I'm sure I can. Um, but uh, I don't see it. And also, uh, I can see I can connect to Google, Google Search Console. The good thing about this one as well is I can just go here to uh, indexers and I can connect this to my Google Search Console and have it index the content automatically. Also, on top of that, I can just go here to keyword monitors. I, I forgot to tell you this. I can just add my site here at the target country and target language, and it will give me a bunch of keywords with uh, low uh, SEO difficulty. So in theory, they are easy to rank for, and a bunch of with some decent monthly searches. And I can just take these keywords and have the AI. Uh, generate and publish content on this on autopilot so it's pretty cool uh, which these guys do not have oh uh, yeah so moving on I guess uh, for in terms of automation right because I, I want to be producing content fast quality with images links tables all this and be 
either posting it automatically to my blog via an auto blog uh, as such right here or manually but I don't see it here maybe just being dumb but I don't see it here not very intuitive so I guess I'll have to give it a a B here uh, to neuron so let's just do this and so we can move on to the next one which is scale nut and yeah article writer let's just do create and we can create an article and let's just do okay we'll have to do keywords so let's just do dog grooming LA and we'll do this one and yeah, let's click start and a you gotta give it some contests I actually what I like to do is just go here and just go to the about us and just straight copy what they have in the about us because I think there's nothing better than this right and let's just do okay to proceed click on create title where is create title? okay it's here please wait okay got it so we have to wait nine seconds for this so what I see here is this take a bit of time to get going okay create title right so let's just copy the title of the other article we we generated before again I want to keep this as streamlined as possible and want to try and make sure that the input of all these articles is the same or as close as so that the output is as close as so it's can so it can be actually comparable and so we have to wait some couple of seconds usually let's just wait again for this to generate I'll be back in just a few seconds all right so it's done and there we go what we have here is the outline okay and so we are going to proceed to have the article written which I'm assuming it's clicking here and um, it, it, we have a, a bit more control here of what the uh, input is in terms of being more granular but again it's a more manual manual type of labor um, and yeah we, I mean I'm all for automation which uh, I mean this is doesn't provide this is a, a bit more manual but let's just click generate content let's see what it does generate um, it, it's interesting that you can create outlines uh, I don't dislike this but again it uh, it allow it slows down the process of creation and iteration um, yeah I mean it, it's fine uh, let's see what it does generate and we have to have, wait a couple of seconds here for the content to generate but I'm guessing it will generate content based on all of these um, inputs we gave you here by the way we don't say I didn't show you but you can also select because here you were selecting and changing up the headers you can also do this here if you go to the structure and click here so instead of automating the headings you can just write them yourself and you can write here whatever you want right you can add more and, and delete more you can just change things change things up so if you, for example if you have this um, what is a dog right and leave this blank these three h3s right these trees you see here as well as the content inside of each one of these will be based on what you've written here in the h2 right so if you write this one I don't want to write these this will be automatically generated based on this one based on the context of the one above so again you can more or less do the same that they do here right um, manually if you like right so that's that's that um, yeah let's just wait again for uh, this to be done and I'll be right back all right there we go and again we have a the article right here uh, yeah I mean looks looks okay I mean, we're missing the images we're missing the links we're missing uh, things that I think are important to add to an article right um, links uh, bullets tables quotes when it makes sense of course right uh, I guess we can export this to the editor and it will be the same yeah okay so it's the same as, as before as the other AI writer I tested so I guess I'll have to give this one uh, a B because again I mean, actually, let's give it an A, because the thing is, is that they're lacking automation, and even so, even if we were to put automation aside, uh, they're they're lacking. Uh, they're not feature rich. Right? I can go here, of course, and add uh, videos and images, but why don't I just use Journalist AI that generates the content, and by the, looking at the context of the content itself, uh, as well as what the site is and all that, it adds the images for me, right? The images, the videos, the links, all this on autopilot. And it works for any niche. And if I want, if I'm missing something, I could just go here to the editor, sorry, and I can add these uh, things myself, right? These ones look like they work backwards, right? They do, they generate uh, less stuff, and I want you to add the stuff. With Journal CI, they'll, they'll give you everything you need, and you can add more things on top or remove things if you don't want them there, right? So that's why, again, I'm biased, of course, but I, that's my reasoning behind this uh, rating right here. Okay, so yeah, let's let's move on to the next one, which is Jasper AI. And yeah, let's, let's give it a go. So uh, 
I want to write a blog post titled how to groom a golden trigger and let's see what it comes up with um, let's just close up this right here so yeah let's see what it does come up here with uh, the thing about Jasper is that it allows you to generate a bunch of stuff I think not just blog posts so it tool might be a bit confusing uh, grooming stuff I mean that's what I want you to tell me right I don't want to be writing stuff Maybe I'm just being dumb here, uh, but I want to be able to, okay, create a blog post, sorry. Uh, what, I mean, okay, create a blog post, that's it, blog posts. And I want you to write a blog, okay, how to groom a golden retriever is that, okay. Suggestions, gonna give me a bunch of AI suggestions right here, which I will take and just click generate now. And let's see what it gives me, okay, so. It generates in real time, which is which is good. Again, it's it's just like the other. It's lacking the links, internal links, external links. Lacking the images. It's lacking tables, bullets, quotes. Um, yeah, it's just a, a bland piece of content. Again, of course, I can just go here and add them myself if I want. But why not just uh, add them, and then if I want, I'll just use I just remove them as as I showed you before with a journal CI edit editor. So yeah, I mean it's good. It's just like any other one. Um, so yeah. Uh, it's okay, I guess. I don't, don't want to be bashing on anyone, but again, th through my uh, guidelines here about automation and giving you rich content, uh, this one isn't very rich, so I'll just give it a B as well. Um, yeah, because I don't think there's much I can do here uh, other than this. Uh, also, there's no publishing, direct publishing to my site, because again, in journalist, I, I keep going back to this one, but reality is that I can just go here and publish to any of these sites right manually or I can just set up an auto blog and have it run on, on, on autopilot sorry every single uh, day week hour month or whatever how many articles I want to be published uh, so yeah moving on to the one called copy AI and so there we go Ooh, run workflow okay content brief uh, okay run workflow let's see here we want to generate a blog post again i'm trying to keep the same input uh, for all because i think it's very very important you want to make sure that the input is as close as possible to the other one so that the output is as comparable um is comparable essentially so let's, let's just wait for this to generate and i'll be right back all right looks like we have it here and again it's more of the same uh, article looks better because there's there's some bullets here there's some longer paragraphs which i like um and uh, I mean, there's proper structuring, which which is good. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, again, I, I, maybe I'm just saying the same thing over and over again, but it seems as if these tools, um, because they have so many other use cases, aren't just great for publishing a blog post with rich, be it rich with content and visual and both written content, and then just with a click of a button, publish them to my site, which is what I want to do, right? If I publish it, if I want to, if I generate an article, I want to publish it to my site. And none of these allow me to do that with ease and simplicity and automation as well. Uh, again, maybe I'm just missing it because I'm, I'm never used these tools uh, in depth, but as a first time user here, I don't find it. Right? I, don't, I don't see it anywhere, which I mean, nothing against them, but again, just comparing them with what I feel like is the best tool in the sense of automation, as well as rich type of content, right? visually and non-visually so yeah i'll have to give it uh this one i'll have to give it a b as well i have to give it a b as well and let's uh, let's move on to uh write sonic and so let's just go here and click uh write an article and um i guess let's just use this one right 5.0 should be better than the 4.0 and topic uh how to groom a golden retriever again you want to keep it the same uh yeah search articles i guess uh Okay, so it's prompting me to reference articles that already exist to write the content. I'm choosing these based on nothing because I haven't read them. Um, it's interesting that I have to choose the articles. I'd rather just have it be chosen by me, right? Because again, with journalists, you don't have to choose the article, right? It, it takes into account all the info you put here, including uh, your website and I mean your the, the input, sorry and goes out in, in your niche and in, in evaluates your niche your competitors and produces content based on that and i have to choose them here uh what is this this is a lot of pop-ups here okay let me i guess i've selected too many is that it let me just select two then confirm okay um 
Now I see here I can give it additional information, which journalist also allows for, which is good. I can give it keywords, focus keywords, which is good. I can change the brand and tone of voice, just like with, with journalist, which, which is great. Uh, quality type, I'm guessing I'll choose premium, right? And in language English. Now, it's generating now when I see here, of course, we have the featured image, which is great. First one that has featured images uh, gives it also the um, credits here to where the image was taken from. We have a table of contents. It's not interactive, but I mean, it is what it is. It's a bit uh, weird here. I'm just, maybe I'm just being a bit picky, but again, if we go here, it looks a bit more cleaner, right? If we just click this article right here, the table of contents does look a bit more uh, slick here, right? Um, and again, if you if you publish this to your site, Shopify, WordPress, Wix, whatever, the table of contents goes there and it's actually published there uh, inside of uh, your CMS. So yeah, first steps here uh, with the one uh, short paragraphs here. I do see here uh, bullets. Uh, okay, it's fine. No in article images, no links, still generating. I see the paragraphs are a bit short and they have numbers, which is, I mean, I get, I get why, but it doesn't make much sense here. I mean, First steps, good. I guess, yeah, could have could have numbers. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a, a bit poor, I guess. I mean, maybe I'm just being dumb here and not leveraging the tool enough, but I'm, I mean, there's no premium. Yeah, premium, oh, I guess you can use superior, but there's, I feel great, and there doesn't seem to be any real improvements other than the type of written content itself. Um, yeah, I mean, it is interesting. Can I publish this to my WordPress site or to any site of mine? Uh, it looks like I cannot. I can edit it, and that's about it. Yeah, I mean, like I said, these these are all great, but because they do so much, right? They cannot focus on just producing, in my opinion, automation and, and quality content like that. So I have to give this one uh, a B as well. I mean, I, I guess let's give it an A because it does have a feature damage, which is good. Uh, and so let's move on to the next one, which is um, Brainwork. So first draft pro writing assistant, we want a, uh, uh, okay, yeah, this is one, uh, with a single click generate actual article. So uh, how to groom a golden retriever, it is the article we wanna write about, target audience, uh, dog owners. Um, yeah, it could be informative, of course. Title, it is how to do groom a golden retriever, of course, and outline i'll guess i'll have ai generated for me and i have to pay 20 bucks actually 29 bucks which i won't do right now i'm not sure why i had this one on my list sorry about that let's just skip this one completely because i thought i had an account here i don't so let's just move on to this one and let me just delete this one right here and we're missing just two here so um one quick blog post again our main keyword uh is dog grooming uh la a title is this one and just click I guess oh actually article length let's do large actually let's do medium here uh, friendly I just let's, uh, let's just do informal point of view I like to do first person as I did in journalist target country let's just do United States uh, and there we have it details to include these are the advanced settings which I didn't include in journalist as well images we want images uh, yes just do five image style let's just do photo uh, YouTube videos, we want videos as well. Yes, let's just do one. And uh, let's just, uh, what's this? Keyword to include in the text. I guess dog grooming LA, which is our, our main keyword, the keyword we want to rank for. Conclusion table, each three is list. We want all these, right? We want connecting to web. We also oh, got to upgrade, sorry about that. And um, let's just hit the generate right here, run. And let's see, oh, we got to do a paid plan. Sorry, uh, how can we run this without a paid plan? Man, I gotta, I gotta just do a paid plan then. Uh, I should have five articles free. Let me just go back here and see why that is. Uh, why I don't have free articles. Maybe I'm just being dumb. Okay, there we go. Uh, maybe I won't have the images here, um, but I will imagine that it does because I, because I'm not having because I don't have a paid account here. I'm assuming I cannot use the, the images and all those, uh, but let's see. Let's see what does come up with, and I'll be back once this is done. Okay, there we go. Just open this up, and there we have it. So it is a bit more interesting. We okay. We have tables. We have bolded words. We have a bit more information here. I, I like it. There's more. There's more meat, meat to it. And I'm guessing if I had the paid subscription, there would be images here and videos as well. So yeah, I, I like it. I like this. I'm unsure about the links. I don't think they do have links. If they do, I mean, I guess I'll put them 
uh, here as well, right? I guess I'll put them here as well because I like what I see here. And again, I know they have videos and images which they include in the articles. Um, I guess I'll have to put them here in the middle between S and A because they don't have, I, I know they don't have the automation, right? I cannot just click a button and have an auto blog, right? As, as this one right here, uh, publishing, actually generating and publishing content on the back end on autopilot. So I know they don't have it, but I, knew, I do know they have the one click published WordPress as we do as well. And um, we do have a couple more platforms ourselves, but uh, I mean, it's great. It's like, yeah, let's leave them, leave them here in the middle uh, because I also think they're missing um, the keyword research a part of it, the content indexing and the ability to take the keywords that we monitor and produce content based on them on autopilot um, and a bunch, a couple more minor things here. So yeah, I'll, I'll leave them here. I think it's it's fair. Uh, I'll leave them in the middle. So between S and A and uh, actually, I mean, I don't want to be arrogant, so let's just put them here in S as well, and you can try them out yourself and see which one you like best. Let's just do it that way. And yeah, finally, just do this one, uh, Koala. So let's just go here, and let's just do this one. Uh, okay, so we're here. This is Koala Writer, and we'll just use GPT 3.5 because we don't have these ones available. We want a blog post uh, target keyword. We are going to do uh, dog or golden retriever grooming LA. Let's go. Uh, SEO optimization default, manual or AI powered. I guess this should do the default, right? Keep the default settings. Automatic internal linking, we do want that. Uh, choose or add a domain, uh, we'll just leave it at that. Um, images, we want auto, so we want images. Let's just do photo, image size, uh, I guess let's do this, article length. I mean, let's just do this, I mean, let's do the default. Uh, tone of voice, I'll only keep it uh, friendly. Uh, language English country US uh, let's do first person and just enable all this am I able to enable all these ones uh, let's just create outline so and we just wait a couple of seconds again and see what this does all right so we have the outline and if, I'm guessing if I scroll down here I can click write the article and it will write the article uh, title again it's more or less similar and there we go it has an in article image which we see here uh, generating we have the key takeaways as well here um, we have the videos as well which is pretty cool here um, we have long paragraphs which is nice image right here and um, let's just wait a bit more for this to get going and again yeah it's more more of the same which is good uh, I've exceeded the limit so that I cannot write more but I mean this this looks great yeah looks nice as views as well and I, I like it um, can I post WordPress I can create a draft uh, okay to post WordPress uh, there's no auto blogging feature though so I cannot just have it run our autopilot and post my my other websites websites of mine sorry Shopify uh, Wix Webflow blogger but it does have the post WordPress feature and I think also they have uh, the interlinking feature as well, uh, or links features uh, at least. So I like this. I'll give it a uh, what's the tier list right here. I'll go here and I'll give it a S as well. And again, you can try all three and let me know the one you think it's best. Again, full disclosure, I do own this one, but based on my criteria, which was automation, this one takes the crown. If I could do sub levels here, I'll do it like this, right? So this this and this would be the levels inside of S tier, but they're all S tier. Uh, again, try it out, try all these out. Journal CI, you can do it for free, this one as well. I mean, all these, you can test them out for free. So test it out, see what you think. If you like them, I mean, use them. And uh, yeah, that's essentially it. That's uh, all the AI writers, that's the test. Hopefully this was impartial enough and hopefully you like this video. Uh, if you wanna test mine, just go to tryjournalist.com and yeah, we'll, uh, we'll help you out. Thank you so much for watching, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.